stop Two-Face dead in his tracks. Hey everyone, it's Kimmy the Clown, and today we're going to be playing with the coolest vehicles from everyone's favorite caped crusader. Hang on, let me go grab them. Here they are. It's Batman's Batmobile collection from Hot Wheels. Whoa, they all look so cool. Let's open these up and take a closer look at each one. The first one we have is the classic TV series Batmobile. This is the very first Batmobile that was introduced back in 1966 on the Batman TV show. And look, it even has the classic TV series Batman logo on it. Here it is out of the box. I love the classic 1960s look on this one. It's all black with a red trim, and we've got the classic Batman symbol on the side. It even has the siren on the top. And if you look real close on the inside, you can see the bat phone in there that Batman uses to call Commissioner Gordon. Look, there's even little tiny bat symbols on the rims of the tires. And this one's really cool because it comes with a hitch on the back that you can use to connect the classic TV series Bat Boat with trailer. Sold separately, of course. I just love the detail on this one. Next up, we have the Batmobile from Tim Burton's 1989 Batman and the 1992 sequel, Batman Returns. This was the very first Batmobile introduced in a Batman film and my personal favorite. We've got the 1989 Batman logo up top. Let's take it out and give it a closer look. It's got the nice sleek design with a black matte finish and the bat wings on the back. On the front, you can see the engine turbine and the afterburner on the back. It's got the grappling hook here on the side, and this is where the machine guns pop out on the top. And the cockpit is open, but it can also be closed just like in the movie. The coolest Batmobile ever, in my personal opinion. Up next, we have the Batmobile based on the hit 1995 movie Batman Forever, featuring Batman, the Riddler, Two-Face, and soon-to-be Robin. This is definitely one of the more unique Batmobiles from throughout the years. And here's the Batman Forever logo with the Riddler's question mark around the bat symbol. And here it is out of the box. I always like the skeleton design of this one. I thought it was cool that you can see the metal insides of the Batmobile. While this one's all black too, there's also a lot of shiny silver on it, including the metallic afterburner on the back. The back kind of reminds me of a battering. It's very sharp and pointy. The wheels are shiny and silver too, and they have a black bat symbol on the inside. On this one, the cockpit opens up as well. Ooh, very shiny in there. Time to stop Two-Face dead in his tracks. The next one should be the Batmobile from the 1997 film Batman and Robin, but unfortunately they didn't include that in this collection. So on to the next one. And next we have Batman's Tumblr from the Dark Knight trilogy. This was definitely a change from the traditional Batmobile style. This one's got that military tank look to it. It's definitely a lot shorter and wider than the other ones. It's got the massive afterburner in the back and four gigantic wheels. It's all black with gold accents. And on the front, you can see where the bat pod would be released. Unfortunately, it doesn't come out though. This thing definitely looks sturdy, like it could take a good beating from the Joker. And finally, it's the Batmobile from the newest film, Batman vs. Superman. This one looks kind of similar to the last Batmobile, but pretty different as well. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, here it is. This one's a lot more gray than the others. It's got a built-in turret on the front of the car. It's very flat and low to the ground on the front, but the big wheels on the back of the car raise it up a little higher. It's got a little more of a sleek bat-like design than the Tumblr did. It kind of reminds me of a spaceship. And I think this is the first one to not have an afterburner on the back. Time to go find Superman. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Kimmy the Clown. Hope you had fun clowning around with me today. I'm gonna go have a race with all my new Batmobiles and see which one goes the fastest. Have a fun day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Wow, it was so cool seeing Hot Wheels versions of all those different Batmobiles. Like this video if you think the Batmobile is the coolest car ever. If you enjoyed this video, you'd probably love the one I did on Batman's transforming Batbot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I post fun videos every single day. Love you guys. Bye.